In this segment, we will learn about the relate statement. And we'll start with an action language function that we used when we were learning about the create statement. And we will use it to create several instances and initialize them. And I'm going to create one instance of every class on this class diagram, but then I'm going to create three instances of the track point class. So I copied these lines and I'll paste, and we'll have at latitude 35, we'll have a TPA at latitude 35, 45, and speed of uh, 5.5. And then we'll have TPB be at 36, 46, and 5.6. And then we'll have TPC be at 37, 47, and 5.7. So we'll, we'll create these instances, but now what I want to do is link them together using the relate statement. So I want the track log to be linked to the first point, the first track point, and then these track points are linked together across this reflexive association so that they're sequenced in a list. And then the last track point is linked across relationship R, R3 here. So after we're done creating the instances, we will relate them. So let's relate a log to TPA across R1. That's the first association here. And then let's relate TPA to TPB across R2 that follows. And we'll relate TPB to TPC across R2 dot follows. And then lastly, we'll relate the log to TPC, because TPC is the last point, and that's related across R3. OK. Then we will launch the verifier on the tracking package tracking component, and let's run our create instances function here, and not only create the instances, but see them related together. So if we execute this, we now see, I want to see the track log and it has a link across R1 to the first track point with values 45, 35, and 5.5. The track point is related then to the next track point with values 46, and that track point is related across R2 to the last track point. And if we look at the track log here across R3, we'll see that it's connected and related to the, to the last track point. So we have, using the relate statement, we have now organized our data such that we have one instance of track log that is linked to the first instance of the track point, which is linked to the second instance of the track point, 
which is linked to the third instance of the track point, then that track point is linked back to the track log as the last one. So if we get more track points, we can add them. This is the relate statement. 